So I use VirtualBox a lot on this channel to show you guys how to install different Linux distros as well as to review them. But some people have been having problems with setting up their distros and some are due to the subtle differences in installing a virtual machine versus installing to hardware. So those issues are understandable, but for those of you having issues in VirtualBox, it's probably because you're using a different version of VirtualBox. You can check your version by going to help and about VirtualBox, and you can see that my version of VirtualBox is version 6.1. This is the latest one that's available at the time that I'm recording this. And if you're on Mint or Ubuntu, then the version of VirtualBox that you have available in your software center is version 5.2. I think this might also be the version that's available on Manjaro. I'm not sure, I haven't checked that one in a while. So if you want to install the newer one, you're going to have to do it manually because obviously it's not available in the software center. So the first thing that you want to do is vim into etsy apt sources.list and you want to add this string here where it's the deb arch equals amd64 and then this web address here and bionic, you want to add that if you're on the um, Bionic version of Ubuntu because this version of Linux Mint um, 19 is based on the Ubuntu version, I think it was called Bionic Beaver. So that's why this has Bionic here. If you're using the older one, uh, Exenial, then you'll want to put Exenial there as the string in place of Bionic. So go ahead and save this file. And you also have to be root, by the way, when you vim into this file. So if you didn't vim into it as root, do that as root, and then you'll be able to save it. And then you want to add these two commands here. So you're basically going to wget this um, key, and you're going to add it, and then you're going to want to use, uh, well, actually, you're gonna to wanna to do this one first. You don't want to do this one to add it, and then you're going to need to put in your sudo password, and then do this one as well to finish registering it. Um, and then same thing, if you enter them back to back, then you're not going to have to enter your root password. So let me actually make the font bigger so you guys can see this command good. So you're basically just getting the key with uh, wget and then adding it. And once you've done that, then you want to sudo apt-get update, and then this is going to update all of your packages, and it's also going to go ahead and uh, include that virtual box one here, so you can see that it's updating from this uh, package repository as well. And then you want to sudo apt-get install virtual box 6.1, and then that's going to install the newest version for you. And once that finishes, you can go ahead and run the latest and greatest version of VirtualBox and your virtual machine installation should go more smoothly from here on. And if you have any problems with this version of VirtualBox, you could of course uninstall it and install the version that is supplied in the software center. I haven't experienced any major bugs with the newer ones so far. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed about it is that um, in my virtual machines display settings, I have to set the graphics controller as VBox VGA in order to get a full screen working in the virtual machines. I'm not sure if this is the same uh, graphics controller setting that I used in the older version of VirtualBox or not, but it says invalid settings are detected whenever you have it set this way versus using um, like the VM SVGA, which I think was the one that I was using in the previous version. But like I said, this is the version that makes the full screen work in a virtual machine. So this is probably the same one that you would want to use as well. Obviously, experiment with it, see which ones works. And like I said, if it doesn't work, you can always go back to the previous one.